thank you so much for playing this game. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for writing it. <laughs> well, I think that in this world of crazy kickstarting everything and you know, it's so easy to just drop last year's game. You know, and just jump yes. to, you know, oh, this is so hot, you know. Where shall we start? Mm. Well, for, for the first time, uh, the GM was Simone, mm -hmm. and we did the two ventures. And then he asked uh, me to play as a GM, so he could he could be a play. <laughs> I, I'm always the GM, uh, right. uh, usually. I'm usually the GM uh, mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of games. And sometimes I want to switch uh, <laughs> and uh, try the, the, playing, the, the character part. <laughs> well, we can talk about this, but that is okay for our purposes right now. Um, I'm interested in what you have. Do you have questions? from so simona from playing uh from sorry from being the gm who oh, did you have, have a lot questions? of questions talk to me i have a lot of them yes um uh okay the um, maybe the first is uh, when uh, uh, when you do um a charm role yes on an, NP an NPC uh, with a name, um, uh, the the bad um, the bad result, uh, the bad outcome, yes. the bad yeah, outcome, yes. um, the bad outcome. Um, okay, one moment. Um, il risultato. Uh, Brutto, il sotto al 12 eh, dice sostanzialmente che eh, ti considerano un ostacolo mh, e una presenza sgradita. Ok, so mm. if, you, if you have a bad outcome, they, they see you as a uh, not a menace, but uh, they're quite. Uh, You're very undesirable to them. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, se invece fai un successo, mh, ti considerano parte del loro giro ti considerano in, in, interessante e um, ti danno ospitalità ma in cambio si aspettano che tu sia generoso nei loro confronti mm, ok but if you have a good outcome they see you as part of the, of the social life and, but they um, uh, they offer you hospitality, yes, but uh, uh, also want something uh, uh, return in, in return from you. So they want respect. Right. And... So what question do we have? Tu puoi riscrivere un tiro sbagliato, un, un bad outcome. You can rewrite right. uh, later right. in game yeah. uh, a bad outcome. Okay. Uh, when. Uh, Quando è che fondamentalmente un buon, secondo lui, un buon outcome diventa bad? Cioè, al contrario, come si regola? When, when, when it is needed to re-roll uh, charm. I think I have a, a, the right answer for this, and let's, back, let's go back just a little. Okay. In many games, you have to go somewhere, and you have to have a friend. The person has to accept you and you mm -hmm. then and if that does not happen then the game has to stop because then you cannot use the friend and meet the friend and get more friends and then fight the bad guy over there that other bad guy okay. so you need okay. to have this 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 good guy this friend to start okay in many okay. games okay. that's accepted you have to do it you just have to do okay. it and if you don't, and they don't want a role like this charm role because they, the players will see it as just a disaster. If they fail that charm role, we can't play. How are we going to function now? How are we going to meet the bad guy eventually? 
we were ready to wait our turn to wait until it was okay to meet the bad guy and kill him. So okay. this was expected. We go, we meet the nice guy, we become friends with the nice guy, and then we will meet the bad guy and kill the bad guy. And so they expect this. Okay. Circle of hands is different. You don't need anybody's approval to be part of the community. You just do it. No role. You just do it. You show up and you act like yourself. You act like your social rank. You are a peasant. Get to work. You are okay. a professional. You make leather things. You are very good at making leather. You're very good at making, you know, the all the, the items that people need. You're good at it. Get to work. Make some things. Go where they do that. Get to work. Go mm -hmm. and do this. Go and if you're gentry, go and sit down in that hall. You belong here. They knew you were coming. It's not a joke. They knew you were coming. You sit down and do it. So you become part of the community with no role as long as you just do it. When you do that and you miss your charm role against that guy, okay, he doesn't like you. But you still belong. Okay. And so it's the 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 charm role does not allow you in. You get in. Okay. And that's why it's good to play in a way that lets you take time. So it's you it's not like you show up and there's this one encounter. No, take time. Take a week of game time. You show up and let's let a week pass. Okay. You are busy you know, Making the fires, you are busy working, you are busy being yourself. And then and then say, okay, how has it been? You know, now we are going to have a conversation with the gentry guy when he really cares about you. Now, you know, he will see. And if he doesn't like you, well, now you have room to respond in this community. He cannot control the whole community. And so there's so it it's a that makes the life a little bit easier. Also in Circle of Hands, now maybe you find out who is going to make himself the bad guy. You fail the role against this guy, this person. They've decided you are really a problem. Okay, now who's the bad guy? The guy who is trying to kill you. Uh so you see it's not really a bad guy it's just his opinion lo senti disturbato anche tu Saverio? sì 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 avvertiamolo there's some problem uh, with, with the connection. connection yeah oh i'm sorry okay um let's see <laughs> we, we lost uh, we lost uh, some sentences okay Better? Some sentences yeah. were, were lagging okay. uh, at last. Yeah. Can, you, can you hear me again? Yes. Now, okay. yes. Okay. now yes. So let's see. The, the thing I was saying is that this way you can, uh, you can be part of the community and this one person may not like you very much. In fact, they may hate you and fear you. And they will take much a lot of negative action toward you. So you have an enemy. And now that becomes part of the situation, part of the plot. And okay. it might complicate your life when you are trying. There's a reason you came here. And this person was a named person. So they have something to do with some important reason to be here. But now they are your enemy. And okay. so, but we didn't know they were your enemy before. It all had to do with that oh. role. So Simona. It is possible to make a role later with this character, but you don't have to just to make the story go. You know, you are not stopped because of the failed role. If you do want to try, the best way, smoke some hash. Yes. Okay. We do it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very, uh, 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 very moral game. You know? <laughs> <laughs> And another question. On the other end, if you uh, 
you do a good you have a good outcome with a, a character but then you do something that likely he, he won't like uh, yeah something well, that uh, it this, is a pain in his neck right so you have to re-roll or uh, well okay. there becomes a different i think it becomes just a different role the first role was about what they think at that time and are willing to act on well things okay. have changed now and now is it you can say well maybe it's a yes another role is possible but it depends on what you want to do i mean the the gm doesn't have to make the person stupid just because you made the charm role you know they if you do something terrible and don't try to charm them again then you know then they just they're not they're going to react in a way that makes okay. sense you don't <laughs> But another point that's worth thinking about, in the setting, this is a very dark setting. In this game, you can, for example, kill somebody. And they say, and everybody says, my God, you know, you killed him. And you can say, yes, I am just that cool. And make your charm roll. <laughs> in, or this, maybe in this game it's... might might does you know, your your brutality does play a role in whether people say well you know i guess we kind of i guess we kind of accept that <laughs> you know? it's it's a little bit dangerous it's it's a little bit evil so people who character who are a little sly uh, are different because they they're not so right. they're not right um, they, brutal, they, have, uh, <laughs> they exactly um the the typical character in or the the expected character in circle of hands would have the uh the the uh, brutal trait where you have one extra brawn and one extra charm and so this is a kind of a stereotype this is the stereotype of the charming bully oh. the person who leads because they can be cruel and other people maybe because they fear him but maybe because they kind of envy him they will follow okay. and it's not very nice but in this <laughs> setting in this culture it's one way to get things done. Okay. <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah. And so uh, so what I'm saying, though, is that, uh, it, that it may seem kind of strange to say, well, you do this thing, which is so terrible. And you think, well, this other person is going to hate me now. Well, you know, the, the game master may make him hate you now. But if you make your charm roll, and don't think of it as making it again. That situation is gone. This is a new situation. But if you try this and make your charm roll this time, that's how they react. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a, I, I kind of wanted to, I, I looked at some of the characters in the old Nordic sagas. They do this. Oh, you know. Yes, it, <laughs> I, know, that, I know. That's uh, that's some that's another game uh, with a similar setting for some part. And I think, well, because one of the character I created, not I played, was uh, Edmund Falk. Um, yes, I remember. Wizard and martial eye, so yes. his gentry. Uh, he's from Rolke, mm -hmm. and as yeah. straight, uh, he had ambitious, and uh, I don't remember what was sly or maybe was was quite uh, cunning and ambitious, perhaps. Cunning, cunning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And... So a very the opposite kind of character. He has to be sneaky. He mm -hmm. has to be and uh, as straight. Uh, features uh, he had uh, uh, scars, yes, so the, the kind of or scars. Uh, I played it as um, 
a person who wanted to be more than a gentry. Yes. Because yeah. well, that would ambitious. be ambitious. King. Yeah. <laughs> so, or and, something like one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And has someone who was a, a black wizard yes. before the circle. Right. Uh, so, right. he was a very. Very dark very, character. Very creepy. Very, yeah, yeah, very creepy. Yeah, a great <laughs> character. I like it. It's, uh, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> but I think that this makes a lot of sense, though, that your character clearly would feel different from the ordinary stereotype of the culture. The yes, ordinary stereotype is, is somebody who is, in fact, you almost fit perfectly the stereotype of the evil, sneaky, not very manly <laughs> wizard, right? You know, I, I will... right, right. I, I wrote uh, is uh, he haven't uh, uh, talking about a betrayal to his uh, uh, cousin. Uh, right. Oh, that's right. Him. I remember. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yes. he's no, right. very creepy, very creepy, very bad person. Right. <laughs> so, right. During the venture, uh, I play him as uh, someone who was searching some um, interesting people for the circle. He wanted to recruit someone and when he found a girl she said i'm not sure i think i won't do it and he said and i said oh well if you want to live with these people you could be something more <laughs> what a problem <laughs> right 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 i see so i think that these show that the different character options and the different ideas go together. You have the traits, you have the roles, like what charm means. Uh, you have uh, the 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 different. You have the the key events. They come together, you know. So, but in the venture, we don't know. We don't know what your biggest problems will be. In the venture, your biggest problems are going to come from failed charm rolls, people who decide they, they really don't want you here. And then there will also be the problems from uh, if there are very specific dangers, like a monster or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. And then after that, the, the venture does not have a goal. The characters have a goal. But it's going to be okay for the king unless you hit a tripwire. What I'm saying is that in this, in this game, it's very different from other games where you say you have to do this thing in order for the mission to work for the king. Yeah. You have to save this person. You have to do this. You have to do that. And you, in, and you have to talk with NPC. Because... That's right. Yes. It's exactly. <laughs> Them. Yeah, yeah. Good whereas color. here, whereas here, and as long as you do not hit that tripwire and you don't know what it is, so there's nothing you can do about it. Um, as long as you don't hit it, it will be okay for the king. Even if you leave the village smoking and burning in the background, you know, even if nothing is left but a volcano, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So it's uh it's it's kind of interesting. What's the point of play? The point of play is to discover what whether these people are good. In the long run, what the king is doing is probably pretty good compared to the war, compared to the magical war. The, yes. the king, what the king is doing is probably pretty good. Um, but and what the circle does to help that is in its effects pretty good. <coughs> But does that mm -hmm. mean that the circle was pretty good? Mm -hmm. They might be. They might not be. Some are yes. Some are no. We will find out. Okay. Um, yes. Um, C'è questa cosa. Mm, I'm talking in Italian and then yeah, no, the, no problem. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, slow in English. No. <laughs> The the um, screen the screen is not easy because when we speak together when we meet English is very easy for us 
but on yeah. the screen it's really hard that's so, true yeah ok mm, noi abbiamo giocato il circolo ragazzi mm, non come un organo un'organizzazione un uh, al servizio del re a tutti gli effetti almeno io ho avuto questi quest idea e il gioco me l'ha confermato ma come un organismo indipendente un'organizzazione indipendente che però ne serve gli ideali ne sposa gli ideali e ne porta avanti la causa ma indipendentemente da ordini da rolk ok ok questo sì. so we um we played the circle as uh, not something was servant for uh, the king right but a separate organization who has the same uh, scope yeah yeah that, that doesn't take yeah. the directly right. orders which, from, from which is fine the king. that makes a lot of sense and it, it fits you know it fits um, but uh, who follows uh, the king's uh, uh, ideals yes well that's that makes a lot of sense so i think that uh it doesn't change what i said we are thinking we can still look at every venture and see how does this serve the king's ideals yes you know the, and that's the right. ideals yeah. Of the king. Yeah. i Absolutely. i yeah. i thought uh, i thought it different because i thought about um every character maybe some uh, follow the kings the kingdom uh because they believe in what right. he do uh, or maybe he saved them right in some kind of way other may uh had like the my right. ex black wizard has some uh, uh goal yes that is bigger also than uh, being the just a the king member, servant yes. because yes. Is it the entry? Well, this is <laughs> but uh, the the game is influenced by the legend of King Arthur, and mm -hmm. in many ways, I tried to make it not like the typical version <laughs> of that story. But there are some things about the story that I really like, which is that again, the knights are part of this for every possible reason. So some 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 can be true believers mm -hmm. and some can be uh people who see the the opportunity uh, yes. be belonging yes. in, in the circle as an opportunity for right. Uh, right. personal growth. Yes. Or evil deeds. <laughs> right. But I also I... think that these are starting points and that one thing that strikes me as interesting, and I don't know if this worked for you, but for me, the biggest reality in the game, the thing that connects the hardest is pain. Every one of the characters that you meet in a venture has their own life and their own pain and their own outcomes, their own history. This is why the history of each place is grim, harsh, squeak. It's quick, right? There's no good backgrounds to this venture, right? There's no role where, oh, okay, this is the happy place. And so, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so you go here and everybody has a history. Everybody has a reason for what they do. And then you see whether your evil, black, stereotyped, ambitious wizard, this time, this time, might take it to have a different opinion because of that person, because of these circumstances, because of this kind of pain that people have felt. Now, I cannot control when that is or whether it ever happens, but it is one of the nicest things about the game which is that you can play a very dark character and you may realize that some things are too dark for you and you're oh, going yeah. to do this differently this time you know i like love playing the character because um, uh, i don't like playing characters who are evil because they're evil 
Right. Uh, uh, but he was uh, ambitious and I uh, loved it, uh, thinking about what kind of, of ambition right. could have right. a gentry of Rolke right. in the circle. <laughs> kind of obvious. When yes. he was before <laughs> yeah. a wizard. That's right. And, uh -huh. uh, and I thought about some kind of, uh, of goal. He wanted to be a mentor of other wizards of the right. circle. He wanted to become the great wizard. Right. Yes. And besides that, other great wizards obviously getting kind of old. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, um, right. On the other hand, the first character I played was one of mine, uh, um, a woman, uh, Pisanta. I liked that character. Yes. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Farmer yeah. and uh, inter low in entertainer low. And about it, I thought about. Uh, about her as a, a practical person, someone who doesn't expect anything about from life. Right. And she as uh, a person who saw in the circle um, a way to become more than uh, right. someone who right. was, was living in the streets trying to, to mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. Well, I and, mm -hmm. and there are these two very different characters, and it's interesting. Well, one thing that interests me, you have played five ventures, is that right? Four. Four? Um, allora, uh, one moment. Abbiamo giocato, la ragazzi, la prima Fanberg, quella con il Lich. Sì. Mm -hmm. uh, la, la seconda è stata quella um, a Rolk, quella degli Adler. Con, con uh, Gertraud. Con uh, Gertraud e uh, Nendmund. Uh, la terza è stata quella che è andata a Malino, eh, quella che abbiamo sbagliato un dettaglio, um, um, Tamarion, e la fourth a Spur. Ok, oh, you have been everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, and it was interesting because in the third venture, uh, Saverio played Edmund and I, could, I had the possibility to see uh, how a character is different played by I, other person. That's exactly why I want, uh, what I wanted to ask. Because we have, when that begins to happen, then things change a little bit. So <laughs> what was your experience of that for everybody? What did you feel like seeing the character move from player to player? It was Dopo nice. Intanto, yeah. Oswald and Gertrude. Quindi, andate voi intanto, io dico per ultimo che... It was due. nice. Because I played uh, Oswald after Simone played uh, it. Mm -hmm. So I had in mind uh, what he did uh, in, in the previous episodes. <laughs> 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 and uh, I tried to follow the mm -hmm. same path, but uh, my way. Right. So I don't know if he uh, recognized the same uh, Oswald he had in mind well, when I. Well, it's kind I, of I... an interesting question. Yes, yes, I see. But still, it's kind of an interesting question, because if your Oswald changed or did things a little bit differently, that's okay. That just lets us know that Oswald is kind of a complex person. And, it's, and I think I trust, this is one of the things about the game, as the designer, I trust that we will care enough so it will not be ridiculous. That's the big trust, to say... <laughs> Can do people care enough about how we play our characters to share in the identity of this character, even if we do it a little bit differently? And I think that's important because in some ways you can take, maybe it's, it's the hope is that it will affect other games. Even in other games where you do not trade around the characters, maybe you will care a little bit more. Yeah, it's true. In fact, I think the interesting thing is that um, I, uh, I, I had to recognize what, what was, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, Simone Oswald's uh, uh, core, and yes. I, th I thought that it was uh, curiosity. Right. In my opinion, right. I, as I saw him playing, I thought that Oswald was a, a character moved mainly by curiosity, and uh, so I took over this idea right. and uh, 
and follow this path. Well, I think that makes perfectly good sense. And it doesn't matter if Simona had only done that a little bit and you see it as a lot. That's okay. Because it's not as though he belongs to Simona and you are just borrowing him. That's yeah. not that once this happens, that is over. You know. That's so why I, I created Oswald as well. No, well, 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 right, right. So you created Oswald. Right. Three added right. three added monster. I, right. You did him for, did I, you play him first? Um Simone. But Simone, uh, right. yeah. they they took the way to play yeah. it and I think it was right because yeah. when I created him, I chose some traits uh, and right. a specific profession because uh, I said he's a scholar and right. a cartographer, yeah. mostly. I remember that, yes. So I want, I, in my opinion, that was the biggest part. Uh, because in the in the K event, uh, he decided to join the circle because he right, wanted to, to maps, travel so all over right. the world. Yes. Uh, and no, they took this. Yeah, which I think that's very good. I mean, this is exactly what I wanted, was that it is not uh, that it is possible to make a character more than they could be if they were just played by one person we can actually have the character become more and so um quando uh, giochiamo mentre io vedevo usare i vostri personaggi soprattutto Edmund e Gertrude che mi hanno colpito um, a un certo punto di entrambi uh, ho sentito um, quasi la necessità di dire sì, ho, ho visto questo in questo personaggio, in come lo stai giocando, in quello che sta emergendo e ora che tocca a me posso usarlo e far emergere ancora di più questo suo aspetto. Ok, so uh, Simone saw us playing Edmund and Gertrude, right. he said I saw this feature in this character, this way of, of talking, of living, and when this character is in my ma in my hands, I wanted to um, show more this uh, right. Right. part of it. Well, I think that's important. You are appreciating what somebody already did, and then you are showing that you you saw it. You know, yeah. you are saying, yeah. I, "I hear you, I see you, I am paying attention, I appreciate what you did." I will it's show the you. Point, uh, yes. Of the switching character. Yes. And that's cool. very important to this game because the circle will go on. Some of them will die. I don't know if you have killed anybody yet, but uh, but they no. they yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it when it comes, it is kind of quick and frightening. Uh, there was a character in my last game of Circle of Hands. Uh, I had a rook a panther oh. who was enchanted with a white spell. Uh, and it was one of the uh, a very powerful spell. And so it was a very, very dangerous creature. And the uh, character did not have their armor. And they uh, were, the, the creature was stealthy and was able to attack with the advantage. And just killed the character quite quickly uh, just by attacking them from behind. One of those things where I suppose if it were a story, then you would just see the thing come up behind him and then you would just hear the sound effect and then everything would go black, you know, something like that. And so it can happen. And so the, uh, the, it, you could say the player made some mistakes, why he would go walking out into the night without armor, why he didn't do this or do that or whatever. But the <laughs> so, fact... So when you got, right. got, got lost <laughs> right, in a bit. Right. But the game, is a little bit, the, the game is a little bit forgiving because you get to play a wraith, which is fun. And also because you will get to play somebody else next time. And so, okay. And so, but still, it's a remembered tragedy. It is part of the history of the circle that this happens. 
once you have started to play nobody plays all the characters eventually no that i don't think that ever had i don't think i've ever seen that but you play enough of them and some of the characters are almost always there right you've seen you've seen some characters that every, nobody can let go of that guy somebody <laughs> going to get that guy right <laughs> and, right and so right that that happens and so um when that happens then a death you feel a death pretty hard it's not just your character that you are playing and so you say oh my, i died my guy died no everybody at the table feels it you know and so it's that's a character that's, of a story right, right. i um, some of the most interesting part where uh, my first venture went quite bad because i mistake some things and they choose to character wizard edmund and oswald and they're two very different wizard because um, oswald is more uh, we thought about him uh, as uh, someone who wasn't a wizard before the circle right right so he had uh, a different uh, right. vision uh, than uh, edmund who was more uh, more dark yes um, Oswald was a professional and uh, a formal professional. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. With the uh, head wound uh, was a, a gantry. And yes, yes. Then... I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I completely understand. <laughs> also... It's a very interesting interaction between them. And, um, and also a little bit, oh, that's a lot of power in one spot for a GM. Yes. That's a yeah. lot of power in one spot. That's <laughs> There, there, there's anything could happen. My dark wizard in the venture was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> destroyed, but yep. they forgot the doll. So. <laughs> right. Ah. Yes. Ah. Well. Um. So, let's see then. Uh, I want to know. I don't want to miss questions. What sort of did? Uh, do, do you have other questions? that you want to yeah. yeah yes i have a couple okay one is uh all about uh, charm uh, role that uh, uh i don't think it is um meant to be used also to uh get people to do what you Correct. want them to do it is, yeah it is not in order it's not mind control you are not ordering them Perfect. around yes Perfect. your blade is yeah. more effective in, yes. in the last in the last venture uh um simone's character that was uh gertrude uh asked uh, to um an a wizard apprentice to follow as uh, uh in Rolke, to maybe eventually become uh, right. uh, a knight. Yes. And uh, uh, this was seemed to be uh, a decision completely in uh, the hands of uh, the GM. Yes. Uh, and Julia, I remember that Julia uh, didn't know well what what to do, and so at last she decided to uh, to I make the plan to do it. Yes. to do it yes but uh, yes. we were quite in doubt if uh, it was right. uh, this is actually kind of interesting because correct. You, the the correct rule would be do what the person the player gm whoever wants them to do but the charm role is whether they like you and approve of you for making the offer whether they they uh it's and, and it's kind of interesting because you could mm -hmm. you could have a charm roll for something else and then that will affect the person's decision for the character but it does it does not completely ride on just that dice roll the dice if there is a charm roll involved for the way they are interacting then it is involved but that will not be the decision Sympathy or antipathy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so oh, the see. charm roll just give you uh, uh, an idea if the characters uh, trust you, right. and uh, right, right, or not. They may, yeah, they may <laughs> want to go to the circle, but the but the, whether they like you or not is a completely different question. So it doesn't change uh, the 
uh, NPC agenda at all? Well, it that's not its purpose. You could play it in a way where you are surprised. I'm thinking of a situation in play. There were some unnamed characters, and the player who were going to who were being a problem, they were attacking, and the player was a wizard. The character was a wizard. The player had them cast hate upon the group of attackers, but one of them, yes, they all started fighting. But one of them, it's in the rules, has the option of rolling to resist. And, uh, and, that, that, and I ascended the character, which is allowed. I ascended the character, and he resisted. So he came out of the fight to attack the, the character anyway. She... Succeeded. She she took her spear and knocked him from his horse and knocked him to the ground. And then she used charm. She did a charm roll. And the charm roll, well, so this guy's flat on his back. He's hurt. He's been defeated. But I'm playing him as a character now. And and she did a charm roll, basically, you know, saying, "Look, I'm just really too cool for you." You know, okay. I'm just really too cool. I'm just, you can't fight me. I'm not that bad, right? I... And so, and uh, I'm not, I mean, what's, I'm, I'm somebody you like. And I can kick your ass. And so he responded positively, right? He's looking at her in shock. And she turns and walks and goes away, rides away. I had him jump up and run off. And later I told them that he went looking for the circle. Now, mm -hmm. so that was affected by the charm roll, but the charm roll was not an order to go to the circle. You see? Okay. I, I had not considered that character in that position before, but after those interactions, which included a charm roll in this case, then I thought, you know, I bet that guy wants to change his life. I had, um, before this uh, series of adventures, we played in um, a circle at Etruscon mm -hmm. convention. Uh, I played a character who was from Tamarion, mm -hmm. um, a fisherman. Yes. Uh, so it was a piece and uh, right. someone who, who was there. And um, a gentry. Uh, while he was talking with other fishermen uh, and working, uh, Gentry came to bully him. Yes. Uh, to uh, tell him to to work harder. A freeman. Uh, a freeman. Right. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, but. To a peasant, um, it's all the same. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I. Um, I knocked him down with a fist mm -hmm. and say, "You, uh, I'm, um, I'm a member of the circle. No one right. should tell me right. what I have to do, what I should do." And after I did a charm roll with a with the gantry, with a die, one dice, right? Well, one dice. Right. It, it went <laughs> well, and yes. the gantry said. Oh, whoa, that was cool. We had a yeah, feast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. No, it's, that's actually pretty, that works, and that's correct. Although it's, it, it, there are some class issues there we can talk about. But the, uh, it is, but we can, but that's not important. But that's a very good example of the same thing. And the, the, the thing I wanted to say, though, in each case, the charm roll was not an order to do something. But the fact that it was made is going to affect what the other player thinks about what this guy might do. It will influence the situation. It doesn't make that person do what you tell them to. So I am saying that the charm roll does not tell them what to do, but it affects the way they think about you. And so you still have in in these cases they it's very effective i mean it's very important but again yes you are right do not use the charm roll as a way it's not your 
your classic order people and make them do what you want kind of role that doesn't happen so so i that. did it when, when i had, had bondo because it was a gantry uh, people say no i won't do it i said what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a choice <laughs> that's right yeah yeah exactly it was again yeah well there you go i mean this is not feudal this is not feudalism this is not you know this is uh if, if uh a gentry character starts to be abusive he will discover something the next morning which is that he is dead you, know, I... you don't you don't mess with the peasants when they dislike you you know so to some uh, entity were wounded. I say I could I could hear you. Yes. Well, there, it was very formal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, charm roll went wrong, <laughs> but and they um, I had to go away because I said sorry. I don't care enough for your life to right risk uh, maybe uh, a dagger in my back that's right that's right no sorry it's, it's, right no it makes that makes sense this is what this is what shapes the venture this is what gives it its social environment you cannot you can set up certain things about the social environment that have been required when you prepare the venture but you cannot create the specific personal social environment about the player characters that will just happen so that's on did you have another question you said you had a couple of questions yeah. yes the other is um about uh, the, the pace of the venture because uh, uh we read that you right in, in uh, forum uh, and bulletin board that uh, uh, a venture meant to be it to last uh, may last uh, months or right. weeks yes entire weeks um but uh, uh i found that uh, uh until uh, uh the um, the problems of the uh, of the places we visited uh, uh were uh, completely revealed to us uh we uh, didn't we didn't know what to do apart from uh, uh, uh try to do our our job for example in the first venture uh, i was uh, uh, a hunter mm -hmm. a freeman a hunter so uh, i described to i went to hunt with other freemen yes. and uh, visit uh, the nearby but uh, since we were um, hosted from uh, the local gentry who was a terrible person <laughs> Uh, there. Uh, yeah. there was there was a one person we couldn't uh, uh, me and uh, also i think uh, julia's character that was uh, ingrid the entertainer yes so we we were very low uh, right. low power people right. and we didn't know what to do because we were we were hosted from by a well, terrible right. gantry well, and his family <laughs> I, think that, I think this is imp important to think about the setting a little bit that again it's very easy to move to the 15th century it's very easy to think of the castle and the lord as the ruler of this place and everybody yes. this is not like that this is you know the 11th century and so if you move in with the hunters and with the peasants they are your hosts you know they oh, are more okay. your hosts than this guy who lives in the nice place yes yeah. it, it happened but it happened uh, something strange yeah. in it that is a venture. little tricky sometimes with that but because yes. because uh, we uh first visited uh the um, uh, a, pr a price priest yes. uh, that were, were freemen Mm -hmm. But uh, we were very unlucky with uh, oh, our he charm. He didn't like you. Role. Okay. I, no, I and we had to to kill someone because they one they they said oh the circle uh, yeah. from Berge was. Quite Despite <laughs> we were quite kind with her and uh, all the people, uh, she were very unkind with us uh, and uh, then uh, since uh, some peasant followed us. Uh, 
uh, Julia used uh, a, a beast to kill uh, one of them. So, a magical dog. Yes, things well. became <laughs> worse and worse. Well, you see, that's but that is okay. This is okay. One of the nice things about Circle of Hands is that you cannot worry about things going off track. Don't worry there's, about it. There's no track. These, there's no track. These people, this time, <laughs> this time the problem was these people, you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's why this we other kind hosting. of problem going on there, but you had to deal with, with them, you know? And you yeah. go home and you say, you know what? Those guys are some assholes. We had to kill some people. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we went to the other part of the um, the venture because there were um, this group of uh, gentry and freemen and uh, of the same clan. Social rank tension. Yes. Yes. Ah, and right. They, right. And they were very brutal. Right. And they were um, there saying uh, we protect them. The uh, peace and uh, and they work for us, right, right. Because they we protect them, right. And then there was a leech uh, outside. The leech was the the best thing. That's right. <laughs> the only likable character was the leech. Yes. Yeah. Was yeah. a very good guy. Actually, no. <laughs> I have I have found that the liches are strangely appealing. They are the strangely. They are not. They are disgusting and frightening and everything but they really just want to go and smell their roses and count their you know their wealth or collect their pictures or something like that and they just want to live in their weird little memories and stuff and and people i found more than once that player characters were they were okay just to talk with the lich we don't really have to fight right we can just, you know, I them, especially because they are horribly powerful and nobody really wants to fight them. So he danced for him. Yeah. Say again. I, I was an entertainer, so I entertained. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't choose um, a, a wizard character because there was another player who wanted to join us and then he didn't. Right. And uh, yeah. I had this. <laughs> <clears throat> this peace hunter who had oh my god uh, a oh, the bad ones are great. so you have this one venture where you have two wizards and then you have one with no wizards and that's when you no wizards yeah. and, yeah. and, yeah. and low and yeah. low social rank <laughs> right and then, well, that's, actually playing, we were... playing low social rank only is sometimes very powerful because you can get a lot of information you yeah know, i said it's a, it's a, i yeah. said um, uh, it was strange because with freeman I made a bad charm roll, so they hit me. Right. Uh, but with the Gantry, it was good. But I was, uh, I played this character as someone always frightened because right. they were very brutal. And I right. said, Oh, I well, come great. to. I'm come being I'm, I'm great. The, the, the bad, these idiots, these terrible people like me. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's happened. Oh, how wonderful! This. <laughs> no. And we, we felt like hostages from, right. from this, right. these people. Right. And it happened, in fact, uh, that uh, we, uh, especially my character, that is uh, where uh, this hunter so brutal, um, and uh, I, I hate him. Asgard. Asgard. Yeah, yeah. One day, one bad day, one bad day, the son of the gentry tried to uh, treat me very bad, uh, give me, giving me orders. And uh, Asgard, out of nothing, took his ex. Ah. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, into his head and slayed the gantry son and uh, his uh, two friends. thugs, his friends. Yes. And then escaped in the woods. Right, because uh, we're, we're so scared. I was yeah. uh, scared. the fa the father the father of the man killed the Gentry, the boss of <laughs> my rada. found me and asked me what happened. I said I don't know. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And, it, and it was true. <laughs> and, and you think, uh, oh, it's the free man. Uh. That's right. So, so I'll go, I'll go right. kill oh, all, so then all, all of the them. So, 
all the social tensions just went very well after. Yes. So it well, exploded all, 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 and it was all my guilt. That's right. <laughs> all my fault. That's right. <laughs> because I killed him. <laughs> if I, he, uh, Saverio, with his character, fa found me, I was walking through the, in the direction of the castle of the Lich, the, the, the house of the Lich, and he said, uh, What do we do with the Lich? I don't know. For now we talk. That's right. And if we yeah. don't want to talk, uh, hope we found a way to escape. <laughs> it's too bad. So tell me again. Though, kind of guy. I'm very interested in other questions because I'm having a. I like hearing about the game, but uh, but have we talked about the charm rolls enough? Any questions about that or? No, the question was uh, about um, how the uh, GM should uh, uh, reveal uh, the, uh, the topics uh, of adventure. That's a, mm -hmm. because because uh, in the last ones uh, uh, maybe Julia and in not not in the last one but uh, in the third one. Uh, Julia was uh, too fast to reveal us, and we uh, go right, straight on right, the mage, right. slayed him, well, and it was right. all done in a few right. hours. Well, and it's a good <laughs> question, because I think it's a bad idea to control the flow of information. This is an old technique in GMing. I will let you know a little bit, now you can't do anything. I will let you know a little bit, now you can't do anything. When I feel like it, I'll give you enough so now you can do something. And perhaps, I don't know about that particular venture, but maybe it would have been useful to develop the other characters so that the it, 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 it is more interesting to me to look at the other characters and not just think of that one person, that is the problem, that is it. Uh, so, for example, you had a, a wizard as one of the components. Mm -hmm. Well, try to think about the situation in a way where you have these other characters who want things. You either have, uh, you know, you, you I don't know how many components were in that venture, but you have several uh, characters who want things. The, the wizard and the doll. Right. So you had, oh, that's right. That was the one you asked about. Yes. So you had uh, two components, and that means you have at least four characters to make up. You have four characters to, to interact, to have ideas, to deal with things. And you have some history in that area. I guess I am saying that it's a, if you have a, a venture where you just have a monster or a bad thing, and you're just, the, the thing to do is just to go kill them then if everything works out that way, then I guess that's what happens. Um, I would not try to control information. I would just make the information complex enough based on the characters and what they want. Uh, the social context. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah okay. exactly. The, the characters have their own desires about this wizard. The characters have their own ideas about what is happening and how they want to interact and whether and, and it depends on of course the charm rolls and things like that but most importantly it is if it turns out that the situation seems very simple to the player characters and they handle it in a simple way and it works well i guess that's what happens you know it's, it's uh, not that after... bad well, after that, we went with the... Si è bloccato di nuovo. Diciamo anche che abbiamo fatto... Abbiamo cominciato a stabilire perché il circolo si muoveva in una certa location. Non stabilire, ma quantomeno discuterne un secondo. Se è corretto. Ho un'altra domanda. Ma ne ho un fottio. So... Devo... Ok. Ok. I was saying, I was saying uh, after the adventure, I did an, uh, the, the other with the Basha Zone uh, and the Splotch. 
Um, when they arrived, the city, I took one of my character with names and I meet them to talk uh, a bit and they right. asked about the situation, what I, what, how, how it was going and right. then. After that, uh, I described this um, um, bread scent in the air uh, and when the discussion were quite uh, over, I described this uh, bad scent uh, who arrived from the forest and, and Saverio, who had uh, Oswald the wizard, said, oh, okay, I have wizard senses, I want to see what's happening. And I said, okay, you see that the forest uh, in front of you is a uh, Baja zone. Right, right. <laughs> there, so that's, so right. You... That's, that's really okay, though. I mean, I don't see a problem with that. I think no, that if that's how it's seen. but I think what I think what kind of might okay, I remember this this preparation. Mm -hmm. It was very simple. There was no other thing going on except just what was happening with the characters. I think I would suggest something. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you have the characters play a little like i said before have it play a little longer have them live there for a little while give them a chance to meet people maybe ascend some npcs make them give them names interact with people have some see how their lives go in a culture like this when you travel somewhere you don't just visit for a day and turn around and go home you usually move in for the year to go through a full cycle of seasons and then when the season for traveling comes around again, then you move on. And so it's uh, and so I think that it might be useful to think about that. And then finding the Urbaja zone would become a little bit longer, a longer process. You wouldn't just smell it and see it, okay. you know. Um, yeah, Simona. One, one thing. Um, Italiano, Rude. Um, in quella avventura io giocavo Gertrude um, okay. yeah. e um, sono arrivati nell'avventura a Spur con la nave di Gertrude per commerciare. So, Gertrude was a merchant and yeah. sailor. Yeah. Merchant and yeah. sailor from Spur and they used her a ship to arrive right. in the city. E, um, e hanno cominciato a commerciare con la moglie, eh, con, con la merchant locale, con il mercante locale. E lei gli ha dato una... so. Ci siamo bloccati noi. Ok. okay. Eh, ehm, abbiamo com cominciato a commerciare con il mercante locale, eh, gli ho dato una mano con i conti, eccetera, eccetera, e siccome Gertrude è una um, freeman ambiziosa, si comporta cercava di comportarsi come una gentry. Effettivamente affittando mh, il cartografo a, alle autorità locali, a, il, al potere locale per fare cose. So, when, when they arrived, I took one of my, car, my NPC with the name, was the, the merchant, and, and Gertrude, who's ambitious, uh, yeah. began to, to talk about goods uh, and train. Mm -hmm. and train. Right. Yeah. Uh, and she sells the Oswald as a cartographer to to this woman. Say that uh, he could uh, make a map for of the Baja zone, so you could know how big is it and how big is your problem because you don't know. Right. Uh, and there was quite good but uh, now i think the next venture would be more long long yeah. time you can you can sort of i don't think it's a matter of keeping information back it's just realizing that to play these characters in this culture that everything goes a little slower you know or it takes longer time for people to live and be somewhere and find things out that way uh, although in this case you had a very basic and easy component 
this is <laughs> black magic. This is Irbaja. This is, you know, right there. There's nothing is more obvious. Right? Yes. And, and, and I, I, people, I get that. Sometimes but, it will be that obvious. It's just, I, I can't think of anything. I think that, that nothing will be more obvious than that. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it, I might have moved the zone a little farther away, you know, from the action to begin, maybe just to space things out in a bigger area, maybe, but yes, they're going to get busy. The circle knights are going to see all that magic and they're going to say, okay, let's go do something. I, um, that will happen. My, my question about it was, um, they didn't know what to do with their budget zone. Okay, <laughs> that's a very good question. And and, uh -huh. and they went back to Rolke with uh, one of the named character, the right, uh, and say, "Well, we're going to talk with the other right. member of the circle, right. and we." We'll... You are not the first ones to do that. That has happened in my game. <laughs> Sometimes they take one look and they take another look and they have some adventures and maybe have to fight some people or deal with some problems. But then they take a look at that problem and they say, we're going home. <laughs> <laughs> Too big. Right. And that's yeah. okay. That is okay. All that matters is in the long story. Did what they do eventually work out well for the king and if the answer is yes it is yes that's all we needed to know that's okay and so i think that it, it, that's a perfectly good outcome there's nothing wrong with that now sometimes it's hard to get away i there was a, a fight between um, the sorry's character and the, the splotcher and I made a decision. I don't know if those I do, things do are it. kind of horrible, right. actually. Um, he fought uh, with uh, um, a magical Sa snake. Yes, I summoned a, a, yes. a beast uh -huh. too, mm -hmm. and it was a giant snake. Yes, a big snake. Yes. <laughs> uh, and my idea was to. Uh, it, it it is a it was a python. So yes. uh, my idea was to entrap the splotch and uh, yes, squeeze it. Yes, squeeze mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And I say, and I looked in the in the book to see the yes. the monster. He said the blunt weapon. Yes. Blunt yeah. weapon. Yes, that's, I thought I thought it could, it could think, be work. No, I I think that I think it could work very well. There was, a, there was a game we played in which a, a character got a splotch on her. And, and it was Python doing all the things. The oh, these things are horrible. And, and it was doing all the things that a splotch does. And the, the, the player was, you know. And she went and she ran to the wall. <laughs> and just... <laughs> ran into the wall as hard as she could and it worked okay. it did I, I rolled with her brawn and every and it did the same damage to her that it did to the splotch okay. you know okay. and uh and and it worked so i figured out a way to fix the damage okay how the damage that okay. makes sense right mm -hmm. and so it worked but she hurt herself pretty badly but she did destroy the splotch and so using oh, the boy. snake on the splotch is a very, very, very good idea. Thanks. Yeah. So he, <laughs> he destroyed the, the splotch in um, right. one uh, Right, one strike squeeze. Up. Well, uh-huh. And I, and I said yes, because I think he had, he had sense. And uh, I was interested to see they fight the splotch, because uh, in my my view the worst thing there was the zone right i wanted to see what they would do with the zone well, because uh, okay this splotch right. is easy but right. <laughs> <laughs> well you know all i can say is that uh the next time you might not get so lucky when you kill a demon and then you suddenly have a splotch all over yourself 
because yes that's that's look out for those situations your snake will not always your <laughs> snake cannot save you then but the <laughs> uh but in the case of the zone well you know they chose to leave and the zone doesn't do anything the biggest problem would be if they killed somebody for some other reason and then that person would turn into a droger and come after them <laughs> um but the but if that does not happen then you are disappointed your poor zone just had to sit there and wait for some other story you know <laughs> okay. um but the in fact, in fact we, we had uh, an hook for future development right. yes, <laughs> in fact uh that's we what I did. I, that's I, what i did with the lich that they decided not <laughs> to they decided they said you know that lich can stay there we are okay with that <laughs> you're going home and after they <laughs> had the you, other one, that's right yeah that's right he's, he's not so bad and then they they left well when the time came for another venture in the same area then i said i could have put it somewhere else i don't have to those regions are pretty big but i said you know let's let's go back there let's go back there and i looked at the components and i said oh this could be an effect of what they did i could do that so it was when um, when i created the venture with the budget zone and the plot i said i like the the fact that the people that killed uh black wizard and this plot was uh and, and this zone was uh, something that uh, born from this death as a um, an infection he could and, have cast the spell at the last moment or something maybe. Right, yes right maybe and i say um, but the person who killed him uh, was at a wizard so i said uh, who knows right right um, when i'm there are uh, some parts of the of the setting where that aren't uh, specific when I, we play and something we decide outside what is written in the book from now on it is true right right no i i agree i mean i think that makes sense um okay so yeah i think it's uh um okay yeah i had a problem with characters <laughs> i'm trying to figure it out but um i had this problem because when um we played the second time this venture the second session um i discovered that i didn't uh, think about what some kind of drive of this character something right. they would do shortly if the circle doesn't uh, do anything right, right. maybe it, uh, for example the merchant uh, woman maybe would try to take the power over right. her husband because he, she thinks he will he mistakes he right. made a mistake to kill the wizard but i didn't think about it so um, it went um, very bland yes i think that the most important thing in every preparation is the non-player characters it might seem like the most important thing is the role is the component itself the knowledge or the demon or the you know the the problem of the area right that brought them there you might think that's the most important but the most important is really the different characters and their opinions and their problems and mm -hmm. like i said the life they have because they are going to act on that life they're going to behave they're going to do things because of the life they have lived and i think that is the most important thing to prepare you cannot tell much about what they will really do in play because you don't even know what they think of the knights you don't even know what they think of these visitors they might like them they might hate them you don't know so you can't plan in that sense of knowing what will happen, but you can provide as much passion, as much motivation as you can is the only, it's, it's the best advice I can give, you know, that you, you think about those people and think of them as your people. I had a one game where there was a, I guess it was a raiding, it was in Spur, and there was a, a, a group who would come in their ships on the river, and they would come and raid 
the uh, the different places, and there was one fortification, a very a very uh, there was a there was a a place that was very well defended. Well, the player characters eventually went to fight this raiding group, this group who was coming in to to invade and to take the the goods and to kill people. And their leader turned out to be not really a good guy, but one of the player characters turned themselves into a silver dragon. And this guy, uh, all of his partners or his people ran away, but he stayed to fight the silver dragon with his friends. <laughs> And he got some good rolls and was really, it was a great fight. And the guy like jumped on the silver dragon and was wrestling it and was hacking at it with his axe and almost, almost killed him. And that he lost and was killed by the dragon, but it was a very powerful fight. And everybody was saying, you know, in a different movie, that guy was the hero. Yes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they were saying, you know, that was kind of badass. That guy really, you know, went up against him and really almost got him. And so it was, uh, it sometimes you find that the non-player characters, if you take their roles and the outcomes of when you roll dice for them and you say, I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to you know, I'm going to really do something with this character and I didn't have it planned, but this is where they are right now. They're going to do it. And I think I th that's what makes the venture really exciting for the game master. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, when I played the fisherman from Tomario and I, he had the gift to turn into a silver dragon. Yes, everybody takes well, that one. Uh, <laughs> And when people say, when the other characters say, you should be more um, uh, calm, uh, right, more right. nice, uh, and I say, what's the problem? I don't want to, I don't want someone who told me well, what to do, and if there's a problem, I'll become a civil dragon That's and right. there will be That'll no be other problem. <laughs> 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 yes. So sometimes, the other character wears this is, quite this is uh, the, right. worried. That's right. This is why I I did like that ro the rule where whoever has that low roll, whoever gets a shitty roll, you get to have the superpower. <laughs> yeah. So mm, I have a question. Yes. Mm, the on the order of the yes. components yes. in the handbook. Yes. Um, social rank tensions at a crisis point is the number two. Yes. But uh, your statement uh, uh, in the next page is uh, with uh, three uh, um, with, with a con triple resultato, a triplet phenomenon on this component. But well, a triplet phenomenon on this component is impossible. Well, I okay. I needed three, one. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, I I, mm -hmm. I think to switch with the opportunity for all. I will have um, to look. Um, I would have to. I'll I'll look it over, and I'll write mm -hmm. an answer. I mean, you might be right. I will have to look. But, okay. Uh, but yes. Mm -hmm. I'm quite worried because well, I did the first venture and he had the Urbaja elements. Then I rolled another venture and he had uh, uh, another Baja element. Like you are a just the queen of you're the queen of black magic. And, yes. and then the, <laughs> I say no, I don't like it. This is too. Uh, it was like nearly the same of the first. And then I had the Baja zone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before, and I was like, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I, you guys are just going to be fighting Urbaja all the time. I guess that's just how it works. Yeah, um, it's okay. So è normale che i combattimenti siano I will tell you this per i personaggi I will tell you this if they, they meet one they meet one white magic component they will want her badger back 
<laughs> there is nothing Until... worse. I, I am I am convinced there is nothing worse than a unicorn. They are the most evil creature possible. Sim they are Simone so had the yeah. had a venture with a uh, into with a demo. Yeah. A yeah. double element with two goal. And one character say Moreno. Uh, <laughs> said, oh, we could summon uh, a our, unicorn. A unicorn. And then and then we uh, we <laughs> could do and they have a plan. And I said there are all the reasons this could be become worse. Yeah, than yeah exactly. <laughs> There's every possible way this is going to go back. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw them as a, are you sure? The, yeah, okay. The, the <laughs> unicorns lay the goods. Yeah. Uh, then uh, the unicorn turn uh, versus the circle. That's right. Because That's the, right. One character had some point of black magic. That's right. That's and enough. this character ran away with yeah. the unicorn. Uh, right. The chase, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. chase him and the other uh, member of the circle blast the unicorn. Right. <laughs> right. I think right. Uh, I think I was um, when I was I played at Munda. There was one time we fought uh, against uh, a group. Uh, I played at Munda, and there was this uh, this group who try wanted to fight against uh, some freemen we had as a as friend. And I saw uh, I discovered that. Uh, I played Edmund very different than uh, Saverio played uh, his character because his character used um, the web. Um, the web. But I said no. I see this character is different because uh, I use the um, the enchantment. The, the, it's like domination uh, puppet. I think right. Puppet. Right. Puppet. Yes. yes. Again, against uh, the person next the the boss of this group. And I say, okay, maybe the web will work, but if we have problems, I could kill the That's boss right. I could just without do that. even right. do anything. And then I uh, came to this character. We stopped them, uh, asking him a, a question, and he had to transfer uh, truthfully. And I said, I could have killed you, but. I don't need it. I could use you as a sacrifice, but you two, uh, I, I don't need it now. So I don't like um, right. to kill people without uh, a scope, a scope, a goal. Right. Motivation. And, the, and, and reason. this is why this is why I'm a good person. But right. wizards <laughs> aren't good person, and you're lucky. <laughs> That's right. No, it's uh, um, great. I, I, you play very evil characters, Julia. So uh, I have a question on this. Mm, when uh, uh, when this happened, uh, there are a um, bunch, um, a lot of um, unnamed character in that group, yeah. and the unnamed yeah. character. Uh, ha, um, agiscono, um, um, behave, act, um, yeah. see, um, before uh, the the circle, Ooh. yes, move them before the circle. Uh, then I I think uh, their action uh, is uh, uh, before the spells. Well, it depends. You would have to uh, put some. You you could spend a point. To gump to go in front, uh, not to go with the enemy character. Um, I would have to to look. Okay, let's let me see. We have um, the circle. We have the named character, and then and named then we have character. The group. Right, and then we yes. have a group too. Okay, so yes. the 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 rule is that for the circle and the named character, you go, uh, you you go by quickness. Right okay. for the order, so you see who has yes. what quickness, and then what is yes. the rule? What is the rule for the group again? Uh, for the group uh, is uh, the group uh, move uh, before the right. character at the tree. At right. the um, yes, 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 at the tree. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So still, if anybody wants to spend a point of brawn 
to go first. They can jump ahead of the group. Huh. Yeah. You can always, when you spend a point of brawn, you jump to three, no matter what. So the group, I will have to look again to be sure, but I think you can jump ahead of the group. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, we we need to talk uh, to the um, of this uh, again. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I will maybe, look at the rule uh, again to be sure. I... But let me review the rule. I will have. That's a little bit technical. I have to go and look at the specifics. The, um, sure. With this, uh, um, I I remember then maybe I search uh, that is impossible to spend brawn uh, to uh, to jump before a group okay. and I name the character right. group. Um, Here I am with weapon in hand and answers at the ready, specifically page 102. Where it tells us a little bit about dealing with groups and I found the difficulty. First of all, we have to distinguish between unnamed characters who you may be encountering in a combat legitimate situation, which is to say only a couple per circle night. So these guys you are able to fight and use the rules for. In those circumstances, you can't jump ahead of them. The little role that you make to deal with them or have things done to you by them occurs first things first, and that's how it goes. Good enough. That is the practice, and specifically, it is important when you have named character opponents mixed in with them. So remember, the rule about not jumping in front of unnamed characters only applies when they are still few enough to legitimately fight them at all, with or without named characters mixed in among them. That's rule number one. Rule number two. When you're dealing with a capital G group, and the rules don't have a capital G in them, and I'm beginning to think at the moment that they should when I mean group of this kind, as you'll see in a moment. Well, when it is a group of this kind, which means a whole bunch of people per circle night, and they are like this big group acting as a unit, this is when those special scary rules hop in, which is that ordinary rules to cope with them through ordinary resolution won't work. You can't just go and pick the nearest one and start fighting them and think you can just start hacking your way through the group person by person or small bit by small bit. That's not possible. They'll mob you and they'll kill you and there's no role. So therefore, you have to be tricky. And it is in these circumstances when spending a point of brawn to do something before that group can do anything is allowed. So that's rule number two. When you're dealing with unnamed characters who are eligible opponents using ordinary resolution, you can't hop in front of those unnamed characters with a point to brawn. But if you're dealing with a capital G group with all the rules that that entails, then spending a point of brawn in order to shoot off an action of some kind, most likely some kind of pretty powerful magic, then yes, that is possible. Then why the ambiguity? Where did Simona's question come from? I found it at the bottom of page 103. You see a phrase that is referring to the situation of unnamed characters and named characters in a combat eligible situation. So that would mean just a few unnamed characters mixed in there. And that is where it says you can't spend brawn to hop in front of them. I do use the phrase in a group. But, and this is where that capital G problem comes in, because if I had capital G for group, then this particular phrasing wouldn't have it. I use the term in a group to mean the whole pack of individuals fighting you, named and unnamed alike, Again, in the context that there are few enough in named individuals that you can still use the regular rules. So I wasn't talking about the group rules at all. That phrasing, little there, little prepositional phrase, in a group, really just meant together for the characters that we're talking about. 
So go ahead and take your black Sharpie and right there at the bottom of the first column on page 103, you go right ahead and it says, how about when you have a combination of named and unnamed characters in a group, just cross out the in a group and write together. And don't think of it as group with a capital G, which is on the very next column at all. I think it's getting kind of late. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. We should stop, but it is wonderful to see everybody again, of course. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for talking with me tonight. It was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. Good night. Okay. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night.